Hey friends, welcome to our story time. We're going to be reading a story from this collection of Winnie the Pooh's Friendly Adventures. Today we're going to be reading Pooh's Sticky Situation. Oh bother, sighed Pooh. My tummy is very rumbly, but my honey is all gone. Now honey rhymes with bunny. So Pooh Bear set off to visit his good friend Rabbit. Rabbit always had honey at his house. You're just in time for lunch, said Rabbit, as Pooh squeezed through the front door. Pooh sat down at the table and ate, and ate, and ate some more. Thank you for the honey, Pooh said at last in a rather sticky voice. But as he tried to leave, Pooh's big round tummy got in the way. No matter how much Rabbit pushed, poked, and shoved, Pooh didn't budge. I must find Christopher Robin, cried Rabbit as he ran out the back door. Silly old bear, said Christopher Robin. He and Rabbit tugged and pulled, but Pooh stayed stuck. There's only one thing to do, said Christopher Robin. We must wait for you to get thin again. So they waited. When Eeyore saw what happened, he said, This could take days or weeks or maybe even months. Oh, bother, said Pooh. Rabbit agreed. That night, Gopher paid a hungry Pooh a visit. Time for a midnight snack, said Gopher. Rabbit showed up just in time. No, he cried. Not one drop of honey for Pooh. Then he put up a sign that read, Do not feed the bear. Time passed, but Pooh stayed stuck. Then one day it happened. Pooh moved just a little bit. Pooh's friends gathered around to help Pooh get unstuck. They pushed and pulled and pushed a little more. Plop! Pooh flew out of Rabbit's doorway and crashed into a hollow tree. Stuck again, Eeyore sighed. Don't worry, Christopher Robin called to Pooh. We'll get you right out of that tree. Pooh was in no hurry. There was honey above him, below him, and all around him. Take your time, Christopher Robin, Pooh called down. Take your time. Thank you so much for joining me for this short story, and I'm excited for next time. Take care. Bye, grade one.